Since this channel is about correct grammar, what I do in my community section is from time to time, I'll take a document or a piece of writing uh, from something that appears to be correct sentence structure but is not. And sometimes I will challenge the viewer to point out the mistakes on their own. And the students of mine that have been studying my channel and have done workshops with me and so on and so forth, uh, they do very well in this. They know what I'm talking about. And for the beginners, it's a good place to start to show that not everything is what it seems. You may see something with colons and things in it that looks like correct sentence structure, but it's not. Now, I'm not looking at the volition of these things. What I'm doing is looking at the grammar, because that's what I do. I'm a correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar tutor. In this particular piece, I already posted my community section, but I thought I'd give further closure, more detailed closure, via a video, which is what you're about to see, where I go through uh, this piece and I point out exactly why it's not correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Thank you. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, rundown of uh, the description on this YouTube video right here. As I stated in the community section, um, whoever this individual is, if they've made some sort of claim on the Title IV flag. That, that doesn't concern me at all. Uh, number one, because I've yet to see a correct grammar performance, a correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar performance claim uh, with all their correct mechanics claiming the flag. And number two, I just teach the grammar, I'm a grammar tutor, and this is uh, my thing. So, to begin with, we have a colon, and then we have Russell hyphen J, and then we have a space, and then we have a colon, and then a G in the word ghoul. All right, so I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking it's a title, okay? But it's not a title because the colons are not correct. So this is not correct sentence structure because the first colon represents for the Russell hyphen J. And then in correct sequencing, the second colon would come immediately after the Y because it would be of the, but it doesn't. There's a space and then a colon. So now, because there's already, the cause has already been identified, which is Russell J, there can be no other cause in the sentence. There's only one of them. There's only one for the, there's only one by the. That's how the sequencing works. The by the comes at the end, but you see here, now you have a colon in front of G, which we don't know what it means. Does it mean for the, does it mean by the? Because it doesn't mean of the. And then we have a space and then we have the word lost. Now there's no hyphen in between Gould and lost, so lost is just dangling there. So now the whole thing has been thrown into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. Now, when we syntax it, the colons function as breaks in the continuance of the evidence. So the Russell hyphen J is a pronoun. The Gould lost is an adjective pronoun. And then we have a space and then another colon in front of the word capture. So the colon functions as a break in the continuance of evidence. We have capture of the title hyphen four space hyphen flag. Another break in the continuance of the evidence between the four and that hyphen. And then we have by space colon Stephen hyphen mark colon space temple space colon space quantum hyphen blockchain. And there's no full stop at the end. So any of you out there that think that these are typos, there's way too many of them to be typos. This doesn't make sense forward, let alone backward. If you see what I'm talking about. So we have, uh, let's see. Capture is an adjective. 
coloring of into a non-tangible contract pronoun. Nothing can follow a pronoun except for an adverb or a break in the continuance of the evidence. So therefore, the is an adverb. Modifying title hyphen four into an adjective, which is coloring hyphen flag into another adjective, which is now modifying non-tangible contract by into a pronoun. And then we have another break in the continuance of the evidence with the colon there. Stephen hyphen Mark is a pronoun followed by a colon, which is a break in the continuance of the evidence. And then temple, another pronoun, and then another break in the evidence, the colon, and quantum hyphen blockchain, which is a pronoun with no full stop. So that, that's the closure on that and why it's not correct sentence structure. And looking at the document above without even reading the words, I can see breaks in the continuance of the evidence all over that uh, document. Just in the spacing alone, the different types of paragraphs, paragraphing. Um, so, whoever the author is of this document, if you're interested in learning correct sentence structure, um, the very simple rudimentary basics of how to do it and construct it, you're more than welcome to check this YouTube channel out that this video is on right here, or you can contact me in the confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. You can set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation and uh, you can apply for a workshop if you want to. Alright, thanks for watching.